Hello friends, this is Kali Film. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's going to be a very exclusive video about Scorpio launch. Yes, we are getting a lot of exciting news and announcement from the teaser. So the finally we are into the countdown for tomorrow launch. Yes, and uh, Mahindra N it's going to be uh, launched by tomorrow. So I have a lot of interesting you know uh, observations about that and people are started talking about that how this segment is going to be and what are all the features going to be added from the existing classic model and will that be a competitive vehicle for SUV 700? If yes, then what are the key things that we can highlight from the teasers is what we are going to discuss in this video. Let's quickly jump into that. From overall product of Mahindra, Scorpio has a very huge fan followers. Absolutely, you know about it, right? So when they're talking about the Scorpio next generation, so the people are getting excited and the anticipation is going to the different bar. And also from the teaser, we can see a lot of new informations like anything about tech spec about big in size and about about interior and exterior people have started thinking about it whether this vehicle is going to be very competitive one for uh, suv 700 then uh, how the market sale is going to be like there are a lot of things going on discussion is going on and anticipation is going on so, uh, that is the main area of uh, you know uh, today's video so i would like to have some decoding from the teaser and how this changes is going to be part of the up modeling and uh, whether will that be a competitive key factors for the SUV 700 in market is what we are going to discuss so uh, from the overall understanding that I would like to call six pointers as a major changes that's going to happen out of this up modeling let's quickly jump into that what are they let's see one by one the number one space management and number two interior and exterior number three tech spec and luxuries number four safety features number five engine refinement number six price point from the teasers i think a lot of decoding factors that i could find from these scenarios and i mean these are the key changes definitely it's going to be uh part of the scorpio end change i think these six definitely going to make a big change i mean uh, from the product of scorpio end. So what I could find from the teasers, let's go with a bit more detail. First we will talk about space management. I am saying space management right. Obviously the name itself is called Big Daddy of SUV. It means that the vehicle is going to have big in height, width and length. Obviously, apart from this, what we can expect from the teaser is there is a change. Usually, uh, from the classical model, right, you can see last seat will be seated differently. It will be you know, in the opposite position. But I, I think from Scorpio next generation, it will have a driver face seat for the safety perspective. Definitely, they will target end club. Definitely, this new change will be uh, focused for the global end cap rating. So obviously, uh, Mahindra can consider that as well. So. These are the factors that I could, you know, find from the space management. Now we'll talk about interior and exterior. You can see a lot of, you know, uh, changes from interior and exterior perspective. I think this is looks stunning in the existing model, but still they have kept that boxy structure. But if you're looking at the exterior, I think uh, there are a lot of changes, particularly headlamp, LED, and even the grill looks totally different. But still, uh, they have kept the traditional look as is that remains same. But still, uh, you can see a lot of changes, particularly in the interior. Uh, I think we, we can see some premium looks like SUV 700 and uh, we can see the Adrenox and we can see a lot of new buttons arranged and airbag. So it, it clearly uh, I mean, uh, shows that they are going to have exclusive packages added with this interior and exterior. Now we'll talk about technical spec and luxuries. I think there is no clarity about ADAS, ESP 
and any other technical spec at this moment i think we need to wait until the uh, scorpio n launch probably that we will get more detail revealed after that so what we can guess it i mean looking at the dashboards and uh, you know the technical uh, buttons if you're looking at the dashboard and interior design seems to be high tech uh, you know technological spec also consider while they're upgrading that is clearly uh, you know we can see so we can expect some tech specs and luxury you know features as well to also added part of this so looking at the uh, uh, steering and interior obviously uh, there will be safety features added that we can see clearly uh, from the teaser now we will talk about the safety features obviously mahindra is taking one of the very serious attention from this safety perspective nowadays and that we can see it clearly uh, from suv 700 the interesting part is about the engine refinement and the engine availability obviously you know that uh, scorpio i mean Scorpio Classic is a rear wheel drive. I think for this new change, they are going to have a different engine available. I think uh, we are going to have this new Scorpio in petrol as well as diesel. And also, you know, just to see this teaser. You know what they say about daddy? What? Daddy is fast, even in slow motion. <laughs> from this we could clearly understand this they are going to increase the php of the engine power and uh, they are going to offer petrol diesel and also four wheel drive that is clearly it indicates so uh, we can obviously guess that so we are going to have a good speed and a very good engine refinement from the new change the last part is about the price point the price point is going to be 10 to 20 lakh this is uh, looks like a suv 700 but if you're looking at the features and you know the engine capacity and from the segment perspective this is going to be a different kind of segment don't think so this will be competitor for suv 700 because the, both vehicles are offering the different kind of uh, specs and uh, driving dynamics so from that perspective these two vehicles going to stand with their own style from the comparison perspective i don't think so these two vehicle will not be in a competition because uh, because it's from the same brand uh, you know that right mahindra as a brand i think they are offering a lot of features so obviously uh, the both vehicle going to stand with their own style and uh, create a disruption in this Indian market. While we are talking about this comparison, right? So we should take a comparisons between Scorpio Classic as well as SUV 500. If you're looking at the history, they took differently and uh, they survived differently. So I think the same case will work out for this comparison also. As a Mahindra, these two products definitely will you know, create a huge competitions between the competitors. That is what my observation. Probably let's wait uh, for the launch and we'll get more details revealed. Then we'll take a call and uh, we will decide how different it's and what are the quality uh, of driving it offers. So finally, I would say both vehicle will have a legendary and exclusive adventure features with authentic SUV dynamics. So that I think uh, this information and you know decoding factors will definitely helpful before their launch and uh, we'll discuss more uh, after launch probably and uh, we'll have another video and stay tuned and uh, I'll come up with another video soon. Thank you friends.